Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In the previous video, we have already discussed the possible steps to integrate the rational function using partial fraction. We recall back, there are three steps to solve integration of rational function using partial fraction if the degree of numerator greater or equal to the degree of denominator. But, if the degree of numerator less than the degree of denominator, we don't need to do a long division, but we jump to step 2 and step 3. Right? Before we discuss partial fraction, we first look at some useful formulas to integrate using partial fractions. Right? Now, we look at some useful and related integration formulas involving integration by partial fractions, right? From the appendix in the final exam paper, we are given formulas number 1 and number 15, which are related to integration using partial fractions, right? We look at formula number 1. Integration of ax plus b to the power of n dx. When n not equals to negative 1, the answer equals to 1 over a, ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. Over a here means times 1 over a. Alright? Alright, we use this formula when n not equals to negative 1 or in other words any value except negative 1 all right a here means coefficient of x right and then we need 2 plus 1 from the exponent and over n plus 1 right this formula is useful for type 1 in partial fraction, which is denominator with repeated linear factor. Right? And then formula number 2 from here. Okay? If n equals to negative 1, we replace n equals to negative 1 here. Okay? So we have integration of ax plus b to the power of negative 1 dx. Or we can write integration of 1 over, we move down to denominator here using properties of indices. So we have 1 over a x plus b bracket to the power of positive 1. No need to write bracket to the power of positive 1 here. Okay. And then dx. Okay. And the answer equals to 1 over a ln ax plus b plus c. Okay, we put in modular symbol to avoid error because ln negative is undefined. Alright? Alright, from here, our n equals to negative 1. So, this formula is suitable for n equals to negative 1 only. Right? A here means coefficient of x, right? And then we have ln linear here or ln denominator from here, okay? And this is useful formula for denominator with distinct linear factors in partial fraction, right? And number 3 from formula number 15 here, integration of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx, right? A means constant, equals to 1 over a inverse tangent x over a plus c, okay? From here, okay, this is irreducible quadratic factor. Irreducible quadratic factor means the quadratic expression that cannot factorize. Alright? And then the answer with 
terms containing inverse tangent. Right? This is a useful formula for denominator with irreducible quadratic factors under partial fractions. Okay? Alright, now we look at example 1a. If we want to integrate 1 over 2x plus 1 squared dx, first, using properties of indices, we can write integration of 2x plus 1 bracket to the power of negative 2 dx. Okay? This is from properties of indices. Alright? Alright, now we have n negative 2, which is not equals to negative 1. Okay? So, from formula number 1, the top formula where n not equals to negative 1, right? So, if n not equals to negative 1, the answer equals to ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over a times n plus 1 plus c. Okay, this is for n not equals to negative 1, right? Or we can write integration of ax plus b to the power of n dx equals to 1 over a from here. And then times ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Over a here, we also can write times 1 over a. Right? And then from this formula, if we have linear to the power of n, where n not equals to negative 1, from this formula, so we can write 1 over 2. 2 here means a, means coefficient of x, okay? And then bracket 2x plus 1, which is ax plus b. And then from here, n minus 1 means negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1, alright? And over n plus 1, so over n plus 1 means negative 2 plus 1, which is equals to negative 1. And then plus C. We just follow this formula. Alright? This formula is suitable when N not equals to negative 1. Right? And after that, we can simplify. So we can write negative in front. 1 over 2. And then we can move down bracket to the power of negative 1 using properties of indices. So we have 1 over 2x plus 1 bracket to the power of 1 plus c. Okay, but we don't need to write bracket to the power of 1 here. Okay, so we can write negative 1 over 2 and then bracket 2x plus 1. Okay, no need to write to the power of positive 1 here. Okay, and then plus c. This is the, the final answer when we integrate 1 over 2x plus 1 squared dx using this formula. Alright? And this formula will be given in appendix in final exam. Alright? Or, if we don't want to use formula, we also can evaluate this function using u substitution. Alright? So, if we use U substitution, first, we still need to move up the given function here using the properties of indices. So, we get integration of 2x plus 1 bracket to the power of negative 2. And then, we cannot expand to the power of negative 2. Okay? So, we need to use U substitution. Okay? Our u equals to the function in bracket, which is 2x plus 1. And every time when we integrate using u substitution, we will have derivative part, okay, from here, and integration part from here, okay. 
Under derivative part, after we identify u, we need to differentiate. Okay. So, from u and variable x here, after we differentiate with respect to x, so we get du over dx equals to 2. Then, we need to write dx as a subject. So, after we cross multiply, so we get dx equals to du over 2. And then, we substitute back into the given function here. Okay. So, now we have integration of the function in bracket, we replace by u and then to the power of negative 2 and then we replace dx by du over 2. And then over 2 here, we can move out because this is a constant. Okay. Remember, we only can move out constant from integration sign and never move out variable from integration sign. Right, and after we move out over 2, so we have half in front here or outside integration sign and then u to the power of negative 2 du. Okay, so now no more variable x. Okay, from here we have u and then du. So we can integrate with respect to u. We still have constant half in front here. And then using power rule, after we integrate, so we get u to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. And then we have negative half and we can move down using properties of indices. So we can write u to the power of negative 1 equals to 1 over u plus c. Or we can write negative 1 over 2u plus c. And after that, we replace u in terms of variable x because the original question is given in terms of variable x, not in terms of variable u. So the final step, we need to replace back u in terms of variable x. So we have negative 1 over 2 and then we replace u equals to 2x plus 1 plus c. And then when we compare, okay, from here, this is when we use useful formula from appendix. This is when we solve using u substitution. Alright? Okay, when we compare, we get the same answer. Okay? Got it? How about example 1b? Let's say we want to integrate 2 over 2 minus 3x cubed dx, right? First, we can move out constant 2 outside integration sign. And then at the same time, we can move up denominator bracket cube using properties of indices. So we can write bracket to the power of negative 3, okay? And at the same time, we can write negative 3x in front, term containing x, okay, and then plus 2, okay. Right from here, our n equals to negative 3, means n not equals to negative 1, okay. So now we have linear to the power of n, where n not equals to negative 1. So, we can refer from integration formula in appendix, okay, formula number 1, okay. If we want to integrate linear to the power of n, where n not equals to negative 1, so the answer equals to ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over a times n plus 1 plus c, okay. So, now we have integration of ax plus b to the power of n dx. We can write over a here equals to times 1 over a. So, we have 1 over a linear means ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay. This formula is for n not equals to negative 1. All right. Alright, from here, we can integrate using this formula. 
Okay, so after we integrate, we still have constant 2 in front. And then after we integrate, no more integration sign. Okay, from here. And then we have 1 over a. a means coefficient of x. So we can write 1 over negative 3. Because negative 3 is a coefficient of x. And then times linear. Our linear function equals to 2 minus 3x to the power of n plus 1. Our n equals to negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1 equals to negative 2. And then over n plus 1 means negative 3 plus 1 equals to negative 2. And then plus c. Okay, we just follow this formula. Alright? And then we can simplify 2 and 2 from denominator here. And then negative times negative equals to positive. So it is equals to positive 1 over 3. And then we can move down bracket to the power of negative 2 using the properties of indices. So we can write 1 over bracket to the power of positive 2 or bracket squared plus c. And after that, we can multiply numerator and numerator and denominator we multiply by denominator. So we can write the final answer equals to 1 over 3 bracket 2 minus 3x squared plus c. No need to expand bracket squared. Okay? We just leave the final answer in this form. Alright? This is the final answer when we integrate this function using this formula. Alright? If we don't want to use this formula, we also can integrate using u substitution. Alright? First step, we move out constant 2 and then we move up denominator cube here. Okay? Using properties of indices, so we can write bracket to the power of negative 3. Okay, dx. And then we cannot expand to the power of negative 3. So when we cannot expand, when we want to integrate, so we can use u substitution. Okay. When we use u substitution, I mean integration using u substitution, we have derivative part and integration part. Okay. After we identify u, we need to find du over dx because when we use u substitution, all terms should be in terms of u. So to find du symbol here, we need to differentiate. Okay? So after we differentiate u, which is equals to 2 minus 3x, the answer equals to du over dx equals to negative 3. And after that, we need to write dx as a subject. So we cross multiply. So we get equals to du over negative 3. And after that, we substitute back okay, into this question. So we still have constant 2. We replace bracket 2 minus 3x equals to u. And then we still have to the power of negative 3. And we replace dx equals to du over negative 3. After that, we can move out denominator negative 3 from integration sign. So we have negative 2 over 3. Integration of u to the power of negative 3, du. Okay, no more over negative 3 because we move out denominator negative 3. Okay, outside integration sign. And after that, when we integrate, no more integration sign. Okay, we still have constant negative 2 over 3 in front here. And then we integrate u to the power of negative 3 du using power rule. So we have u to the power of negative 2 because negative 3 plus 1 equals to negative 2. Over n plus 1 means negative 3 plus 1 equals to negative 2 plus c. Okay. So from here, we can simplify 2 from numerator and 2 from denominator. 
okay? And negative times negative or negative divided by negative equals to positive. So we have one positive 1 over 3. And then from properties of indices, we can write u to the power of negative 2 equals to 1 over u to the power of positive 2 or 1 over u squared plus c. And then we multiply, so we have 1 over 3 u squared plus c. And then the final step, we need to replace u in terms of x. So we have 1 over 3 times we replace u equals to 2 minus 3x bracket squared plus c. Okay, so this is the final answer when we integrate using u substitution. Alright, so when we compare the final answer when we integrate using this formula, the answers are equal. Alright, so we, you can choose either you want to use formula or you can integrate using u substitution. Okay, got it? Up to this point, you can try exercise 1. Okay, evaluate the following using the above formula. Okay, here and using u substitution. Okay, so you can try number 1, 2, 3 and 4 using this formula and using u substitution. Right? And you can check the final answer using symbollab.com. Okay, you just use this function, okay, this symbol or this button from menu pack in symbolet.com. Okay, let's say number one, okay, the final answer when we check using symbolet equals to, after we integrate 3 over 1 minus 4x squared dx equals to 3 over 4, 1 minus 4x plus c. Okay, so you can check. The final answer using symbolet.com for number 2, 3 and 4. Okay. First, you integrate using this formula and using u substitution. And you can check the final answer using symbolet.com. Alright. Coming up next, more examples using useful integration formulas. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.